Hey everyone from Universal Orlando. I am here at the park today to talk about the first official news about Halloween Horror Nights 2024. Tickets have been released. We have all of the pricing. We're going to talk about the year-over-year -year price comparisons and the first bit of HHN 2024 merchandise has come out. So let's not waste any more time. We'll head inside Universal Studios and talk about all of it. And as we're heading inside to talk about HHN, we're coming up on the final days of Mardi Gras. It ends this Sunday. You know it's busy and you know it's spring break when you come back into Central Park and there's still a lot of people back here, but we found ourselves a little quiet spot. Let's go over all of the ticket info, talk about the pricing and how it relates to 2023. So as many people expected, HHN is starting August 30th, 2024. It's usually the first Friday in September is when they start, but since that first Friday is September 6th of this year, there were rumors that it was gonna start in August and that has been confirmed by Universal. The official dates for HHN 2024 will be August 30th through November 3rd, 2024. Now we're gonna dive into the ticket prices, express passes, RIP tours. We're gonna to cover all of the pricing information from a range perspective because it varies by day, but we're gonna tell you everything you need to know about tickets and all of that that was released today. So released today officially by Universal were single night tickets, express passes, the RIP tours, as well as the three and six house unmasking the horror tours, which are the daytime lights on tour of some of the houses at HHN. So we're gonna start with the single night tickets. They range from $82.99 all the way up to $122.99. And that just depends on the specific date. Different dates have different prices. Now, when we compare that to 2023, the tickets started at $79.99 and they went to $119.99. So not a major change in terms of the single night tickets, but once we start getting into Express and specifically the RIP tours, that's where you see the largest changes in price. As we move on to the express passes, which are really popular, and honestly, if you're coming here for just one night, you almost need to get an express pass. This year, they start at $129.99 per person, and they go all the way up to $239.99. And last year, they started at $109.99. So we have a $20 price increase on the starting price for Universal Express for 2024. And in that same ballpark of like 18 to 20% year over year increases, we have the RIP tours. This year they start at $359.99 per person. Last year they started at $299 per person. So we have a 20% increase on the starting price of the tours. And again, just like the Express Passes, just like the single night tickets, the price of the tour is gonna vary night by night. It's going to be more expensive if you go on a Saturday or a Friday as opposed to earlier in the week. It's going to be more expensive once we get into October as it was in September. So they kind of use like a dynamic pricing system. So just keep that in mind. Now the one thing that I really want to talk about and I have some thoughts on is the unmasking the horror tours. So like I mentioned, that is the daytime lights on tour. If you've never been to HHN and you're just curious about what it's all about and you don't want to be scared, this is a really good way to experience the creativity and like the detail that goes into the houses without any scare actors in it. So it's during the day, lights are on, you won't be scared. Um, those tours start at $99.99 for the three house tour this year and $179.99 for the six house tour. So it starts a little bit cheaper than it did last year. Last year they started at $119.99 and then the six house tour was $169.99. Now my biggest issue with starting the tours when they're starting them, because if you look at the calendar, you can do an Unmasking the Horror Tour as soon as August 11th and HHN doesn't start until August 30th. So almost three weeks before the event starts, they're gonna be doing these Unmasking the Horror Tours and I feel like that's putting a lot of pressure on the creative team to make sure these houses are done. And if you've been to HHN in the past, you know that the houses like evolve and change as the season goes on. So this to me, in my opinion, is a total money grab. Like the fact that they're starting three weeks almost before the event starts and giving people the chance to do these tours, it's just a money grab. So if you are considering doing one of these tours, wait till later in the season. That's when the houses are at their absolute peak. Don't do it before the event starts. Not only are you gonna spoil the houses for yourself, but you don't know if everything's gonna be 100%. So someone might do a tour in mid-August and they might have different details and different things that they're seeing in the houses as opposed to somebody that did it 
in October. So just keep that in mind. I don't really like this. I feel like this is just another way for Universal to you know, squeeze some money because these tours are very popular. Um, if anything, I wish they would go past HHN a little bit more than they do. But to start them early, I don't know. It doesn't sit right with me. I, don't, I think it's a money grab. And like I said, just rushing the creative team to finish the houses three weeks earlier than they need to because they typically work like right up until team member preview. I don't know. Seems a little rushed for me. So my personal opinion is if you want to do a, uh, a tour, do it a little bit later on in the season. Now with all that being said, my suggestion is if you are coming to Halloween Horror Nights for like a specific date or a couple of dates and you know what those are already, like your travel plans are confirmed, I would buy your tickets. And if you're looking to buy an Express Pass, I would buy that now too because the pricing changes as it gets closer to the actual event date. It's almost like buying an airplane ticket. The longer you wait, the more expensive you're gonna pay. So if you already know the dates that you're coming, I would suggest locking in those tickets and express passes, whatever you're deciding to add on now, because they will get more expensive as the months go on. It might not get more expensive like from now until you know May per se, but if you wait until the summertime or you know last minute purchase, like the week of the event, the month of the event, they're definitely gonna be more pricey than they are now. This is just how it is every year. So if you know the date you're coming, if you're coming for like a single night or a couple of nights and you're looking to purchase Express, I would do it now because you're gonna get the cheapest price now than you will if you wait in the future. So that's all of the information we have on dates and ticket pricing and everything along those lines. There have been no house announcements officially till this point. There's some things that are rumored, but we're gonna take a walk over to the Five and Dime because they released the first batch of merchandise this year, and I have some thoughts on it. I'm curious what you guys think. Before we head over there, we got a really good look at the current state of the nighttime show, the new nighttime show that's gonna be coming most likely in the summertime. You can see all the work that they're doing over here on the lagoon, still doing some things. No official date as of yet, but most likely gonna be the summer. So over here in the Hollywood section of the park is the Five and Dime. This is where all of the HHN merchandise is released first. And it looks like the Bourne Stuntacular just got out. Every time I try to go in the Five and Dime to show merch, the Bourne show gets out. So we'll wait a minute and we're gonna go in and check it out. All right, so here we are right in the front of the store is the display with all of this year's merchandise. We'll kind of go item by item here. This is the shirt. It's orange, which is interesting because usually all the shirts are black, but you can see it has Where Horror Lives with that skull in the O, the Universal Studio Arches, which I like, HHN 2024. They even got some palm trees, so not the scariest style of shirt. It's definitely more of like a Florida spring break type of vibe. This is going to be $33 and it's black light reactive. For $30, they have this same design on a trucker hat, like a snapback trucker hat. For $27, they have a tumbler with that same design on it. It goes all the way around HHN 2024. This is very like, reminds me of Howl Scream. If you've been to Howl Scream over the last couple of years, they had merchandise that was like very bright and neon-y and it gives off those vibes. And as far as the shirts go, it looks like they have plenty of sizes. They have extra small, all the way up to like 3X, so there's plenty of them. All right, so that's gonna do it for today's video. Let me know what you guys think about the merchandise that was released. Like it has very much like an, not an 80s style, like it has a lot of neon colors, but it's almost like an early 2000s grunge, like something you would see at like the Warp Tour or something along those lines. That's what it kind of reminded me of. A lot of bright colors, also reminded me a lot of like the SeaWorld merchandise and the Busch Gardens merchandise for Howl's Scream, kind of leaning into those neons. So I'm, I think we're gonna pass on the merchandise that came out today. There is just so much that comes out throughout the entirety of the HHN season, especially once they start announcing houses. And if you have a favorite IP that's coming, there's always corresponding merchandise for that as well. So gonna pass on the orange, not really, my favorite style of merchandise, but I'm sure there's people out there that like it. So as always, if you found this video helpful, make sure you give it a nice big thumbs up, subscribe to the channel down below so you don't miss out on all of our future Halloween Horror Nights and Universal Studios updates videos to come. And with that being said, we'll see you guys real soon.